This is Star Talk. All right, Thomas Valenzuela mm-hmm. wants to know this. And Thomas, hey, you got to admit that's a cool last name. That is Valenzuela. Val- Valenzuela. You can't be, you can't beat that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I used to love that picture for the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, does the rotation of the galaxies give us north and south orientation in the universe, based on something similar to the uh, Coriolis effect? And if that is the case. Could it be used as a reference to measure distances and our position versus the equator of the universe? No. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, a, there's some interesting backstory here. Yes. So in physics, we have an unambiguous way of how to define what is north. Really? Yes. Okay, okay please. So north has meaning only in things that rotate. Okay. All right. right. If I, if I put a book in front of you and say, what's north? It, it means make, nothing. It means nothing. Okay. Right. Rotate something. Now, take your right hand, curl your fingers in the direction the thing is rotating. Okay. Then stick up your thumb. Mm-hmm. That's north. Got you. Okay? Got you. And so that's how we can say if something is rotating upside down. Right. Relative to north, because you'd have to twist your twist hand upside, upside down, down, curl it. Curl the fingers, and now it's rotating in that direction. Now your thumb is pointing down. It's pointing down. Okay. So that's how we define rotation. We did not know that the galaxy was a rotating thing until long after we had like named it. Right. You know, why is it called galaxy? Get Galactos is Greek for milk. That's the Milky Way right. going across the night sky. Because it just looked like a streak of white across a, a the streak of blackened white. night sky. Not, they didn't think it was literally milk, but right. it was the poetic reference to it. Right. right? And so, so that's the galaxy. And it, now, if you learn that it is a flattened system, mm-hmm. and then you want to ask, does it have a north and a south? We astronomers in the early day assigned the north pole of the galaxy to the pole of the galaxy that happened to be in the northern hemisphere of the Earth, of Earth's sky. Gotcha. All right. Because we're seeing it from the north or top part of our reference. Of our reference. We would later learn which way the galaxy was rotating, and it turns out it's turning the other way. Gotcha. So we are stuck calling the north pole of the galaxy the opposite of what our laws that we made for ourselves to define it as such would give us. Gotcha. Yeah, so in other words, the... The what we say is the south pole of the galaxy is in the north. What we say is the north pole of the galaxy is in the northern hemisphere sky, but it's actually the south, south pole, pole of the galaxy. Of the galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, we can orient the galaxy, but we the the universe we've never found a way to orient it. There's no patch of material in one direction or another, an axis, a right. distribution, a right. plane, right? None of that. The stuff is like pretty random as far out as you go. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we could do that here on Earth because we have all of those things yeah. to measure and yeah. look at. There's a north pole of the solar system. Which right. way is all, are all the planets exactly. turning around the sun? Because we see the sun as a center. Yeah, which way is the sun rotating? So that sun right. has a north pole. Everybody's right. got a north pole. Gotcha. Yeah. That is cool. And that's because we didn't know it was... We didn't know it was rotating. We, th- we had to discover the galaxy because we're in it. And right. It's, very, it's like, how do you know what your mother looks like if you're in, an embryo within her womb? That's so funny. You don't know. So no, one don't. of the last things we discovered was the galaxy. What, what, what the hell we look like in the galaxy. What a, great, uh, yeah. what, a, what a great example. How do you know what your mom looks like before you're born? Yeah, you have no idea. Right. You, you know her voice. Unless you get a selfie stick and put it out there. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus! God. What? I'm just that there could be a way to do it. That's awesome. That's all I'm saying. Oh my God! <laughs> Selfie stick. This is Star Talk.